projects do not occur in isolation. They are created and run within the context of an organization and within a unique project environment. Organizational culture can be difficult to define. To understand it better, you need to know its elements. The values of an organization filter down from its vision and mission statements, the publicly announced principles and values that it aims to achieve. Examples of these are friendly service, product quality or product innovation, and price leadership. These values affect how project work is done because they set underlying priorities for the work. As groups work together, employees develop a set of implied or unwritten rules, values, and standards about how things should be done. A particular language or way of communicating also develops. These beliefs and practices are known as company norms. Norms can vary from a shared idea that employees can bring cake to the office on their birthdays to the shared idea that employees will work all night at the office to meet a deadline. Newcomers need to learn these rules before they are fully accepted as members of the organization. Beliefs are the shared meanings developed by a group working together. They include both habits of thinking and of speaking. So an organization may use particular jargon when talking about work and may share the belief that quality work is rewarded. How a group characterizes itself and its beliefs about the world and the working environment can deeply affect how tasks are performed. It also affects how people within the team prefer to be managed. Informal policies and procedures are those unwritten rules that the members of an organization are expected to follow. You won't find them in the new employee orientation manual. They include the broad ideological principles that guide how a group interacts with employees, customers, and other stakeholders. Then there are the rules about how to really get things around here. Some procedures may be explicit, while others more implicit. For example, it may be common knowledge that to get something approved, you need to go to a particular senior manager first, rather than to the person outlined in the organizational chart. How an organization or project team views authority will affect communication between upper management, the project manager, and the project team. For example, if members of the project team respect the project manager's authority, it becomes easier to ensure work is done on time and according to specifications. Getting timely feedback on how the project is going helps the project manager to be aware of issues that threaten the success of the project. Here's an example of how things can go south in a hurry if you're not aware of the culture. A hospital re requires a hospital management information system to automate its day-to-day -day activities. Tracy is hired as the project manager. Now, the decision to hire outside of the organization was an unpopular one, and the project team actively resists Tracy's authority. Because the members of the project team don't respect Tracy's authority, she's likely to find it difficult to get the work done on time and to specification. Then the resistance results in communication problems. Tracy first notices a problem when she doesn't get timely feedback on how the project is going. As a result, she's unaware of a project issue that could jeopardize the success of the project. And because of the lack of communication, nobody is telling Tracy about the unwritten rules. One of the organizational norms that Tracy is not aware of is the rule about flex time. To try to gain some control, she enforces a strict 9 to 5 schedule, and this further damages team morale, which negatively impacts the project. Culture arises from the accumulated shared learning of a group, so coming in from the outside can be difficult. If you're assigned to manage an existing team, the first thing you need to do is get a handle on the culture. And if you're already part of an organization and its culture, your beliefs and ways of doing things may be so ingrained that they're difficult to define or communicate. Be aware of this fact as you welcome new members on board. The aspects of organizational culture that will influence a project include values, norms, and beliefs, 
informal policies and procedures, and organizational views of authority. Project managers and members of the project teams must understand the factors or conditions that may affect project outcomes. In addition to organizational culture, there are two other areas of influence that can impact a project. These include enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets. You will become very familiar with these terms as you learn about all the project management subject areas, since they are often used during project management processes. As we know, projects don't happen in isolation. They are influenced by enterprise environmental factors, or EEFs, that are almost always outside the control of the project team. EEFs can be from outside the organization or from within the enterprise or organization. Examples of internal EEFs include the organizational structure with its lines of authority, personnel and administrative policies, and technology used to manage projects, such as databases and scheduling software. Examples of external EEFs include government or industry standards, marketplace conditions, and the economy and sociopolitical situation in the geographic area where your project is taking place. An organization's history determines its structure and culture. It also determines the available process assets that can contribute to the success of a project. Processes and procedures are one category of process assets. This category includes Plans created for the project as a whole, as well as specialized plans such as budget and risk response plans. Standard processes, including company policies and processes for product and project life cycles. Standard procedures, including guidelines, work instructions, proposal evaluations, and performance criteria. Templates, including general project tools, such as risk templates, work breakdown structures, and schedule network diagrams. The corporate knowledge base is made up of historical data on projects completed in the past. Organizations often have information stores containing past measurements related to processes, products, and finances. These are generally held in project files and records. They also store information on past project issues and defects in what are known as lessons learned knowledge bases.